Dear friends, today we will explore a powerful statement from Jesus. You are either with me or against me. Who are you? This phrase challenges each of us to reflect on our relationship with Jesus and to make a conscious decision about our commitment to him. Before we begin, I invite everyone to subscribe to our channel, where we share messages of faith and inspiration. Let us now unite in prayer until the end of this meeting, seeking clarity and spiritual direction in the face of Jesus' question. Before we dive deeper into this challenging topic, let's relax our hearts and minds. Let us close our eyes, breathe deeply and allow the peace of God to envelop us. Let us be open to hear what he has to say to us at this moment. Beloved brothers and sisters, Jesus' statement confronts us with a crucial choice that shapes not only our earthly lives but also our eternal destiny. It is a call for deep and sincere reflection on our relationship with him, on who we really are before him and on the decisions we make in response to his call. When Jesus says, you are either with me or against me, he is inviting us to evaluate our loyalty and commitment to him. We cannot be neutral toward Jesus, we cannot sit on the fence. He demands a definitive answer from each of us. So who are we before Jesus? Are we truly committed disciples, following him with all our heart, mind and soul? Or are we somehow resisting his lordship in our lives, allowing other priorities or desires to take the place that belongs to him alone? It's a question of spiritual identity. Are we identified as faithful followers of Christ, those who take up the cross daily and follow in his footsteps, or are we identifying with the world, with its values and fleeting pleasures? This is not an issue we can ignore or postpone. It is a decision that shapes our present and our future. Because, as Jesus reminds us, he who is not with me is against me. We cannot serve two masters, a choice needs to be made. However, the good news is that no matter how far we may have strayed, Jesus is always ready to welcome us back into his loving arms. He calls us to repentance and offers forgiveness and restoration to all who sincerely seek him. Therefore, may this reflection lead us to spiritual renewal, to a renewed commitment to Jesus as our Lord and Savior. May we choose to be on Christ's side, follow his teachings and live according to his will for us. May we truly be identified as his disciples, witnessing his grace and love to the world around us. Amen. Thank you all for joining us in this challenging reflection. May we all choose to be on Jesus' side, committing to follow him with our whole being. Until we meet again, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us always. Amen.